After finished testing and training, you typically have Easy Security installed in a test database and you want to move this one into your production environment. The first step is to run the initial install in the production database. So creating the new company, running the implementation wizard for logins and permissions, and the same for field level and data security. You should use the same tables as you had in the test database because then you can import the data with no problem. From the test database, you can then export permission set, permission groups, access controls for the logins, the object properties controlling many different things, the field level security codes, and the data security codes. These ones are exported to text files. In your production database, you then create the login so it match uh, the test database if it's not already the same. And then you create company group matching the company groups in your test database. A lot of times your company names are very different and the groups can actually be the same in that case. After you have done that, you can now import in the same order as it was exported above. And if you already have some of the permission sets or other parts in here, you can actually overwrite as you import them at that time. Um, you can also export only the one you actually need instead of all the one from your test database. After this one is all done, you should publish permission and you basically have moved easy security from test to production at that time. I have a um, easy security set up here with both lock-ins and permissions and then also the field level and data security. And underneath each of these functions, you can go in and you can select the users and you actually have the ability to from in here uh, export the selected ones and import an override. So if you end up having test users, you don't want to move to production, you can export that one. Same thing goes for the permission sets where I can export the selected one. I can also, if I actually look at the comments, if I wonder which one I actually have changed in here, many times if I actually look at the comments in here, I would be able to actually see what has been actually changed in here in these permission sets and what data was changed. We also want to export the permission group, same functionality in here. The next piece is uh, the general setup in here and I'll use the menu in here that I should have done to begin with. The object properties, they are used for a lot of things. They're used for quick security, object level security, segregation of duty calculations, limited license, and many, many different things. These ones can, same way as normal, be exported and imported into your production database. Field level security, user security setup is a single record. If you end up having the exact same one, you can actually copy paste them from one database to another if necessary. Field level security codes, contains quite a lot of complexity in here. So these ones can, again, be exported. You typically don't want to export the read-only because they are already in the other database. If you only export the new ones you got, you can import, else you could also import an override. And the last piece of data can be exported is data security. Again, you can do that selectively in here. So when you get into your production database, you have run your installation wizard, you can now go in and import these um, data in the same order. First the permission sets, then the permission groups. Then you can import the access controls for the logins. This one potentially can give you an issue about missing um, company groups or missing users, you would have to either add those or you could go export uh, data without that in it. You can then import the object properties, again probably with the overrides so you get all of it in here. And then for field level and data security import the uh, field level and data security codes and you can then copy paste the records inside uh, the user security setup. But that's basically how you move from a test to production. Always run the complete install, 
because it will initialize all the things necessary underneath and then use these functions to export import the data between test and production. This one can of course also in the future be used so if you set up a new permission set in your test and it works fine then you can export it and import it in your production database. All this goes both ways of course.